about the and hoops. We do know that from you yeah. that you were willing to sit down with Tia and have a conversation. No, I wasn't. Uh, or the offer was made. Well, well, well uh, man, shout shout out to them uh, them fam and shout out to Rollo and them and Goldmouth. So uh, Rollo and them had booked me for a podcast like 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 during the winter time. And, and they had they had also had done Tia, so they wanted to put me and Tia together because they think our personalities would match good together. So so Rollo have a whole movie script uh, for for her and I. So probably about ninety days ago, a uh, Zeus TV reached out to me, and, and asked me what uh, would I do their podcast. It was Tia Kemp, a uh, blue face mom. In, oh, in, 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 in Tokyo, China. Charleston, oh, funny. Lord. Uh, I seen that. Yeah, I know. So, so, but I didn't know it was Zeus Network. Imagine oh. Charleston uh, White in the movie. B because her name had already came up with Rollo and them, you know, I thought it you know, was cool. But I didn't realize who the other two women were. So, uh, you don't want to go in there. Just how they were trying to, to book me, it, 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 I was like, man, these motherfuckers, like, they trying to set it up. Uh, so, I started looking into the email i said zeus network man f no i ain't doing <laughs> shit with zeus network because i know zeus network does nothing but pits black people together to, mm. to fight against one another so i said i ain't finna do shit with them so i told man f i ain't doing nothing and then i saw who so i went so i never knew who she really was before then so i really just discovered who tia kemp was 90 days ago so i went and looked at her i already knew who blueface mama was didn't know who Tokyo China was. I said, man, I ain't doing nothing with no messy bitches like this. Man, I ain't sitting down with no messy bitches. I like hoes. I don't put no bitches. So, yeah, <laughs> now, nah, so that was it. Yeah, so they say that, or there was a rumor that they sent you money and you took the money? You got damn right I kept the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me to court to get it back. <laughs> yeah, I took some the bitch money. Oh, I feel like them bitches were trying to play on me and set me up. Cause I told them, why y'all still trying to book me where y'all pick me up? So y'all go book me for my flight. Y'all go put me up. Y'all got me in this hotel and y'all want me to do this in LA. Y'all playing with me, ho. <laughs> so they kept having this white boy call me and smart. I kept telling him, man, no, no. So they kept insisting. So I said, so I even told him, man, y'all must be trying to set a n up or something. I'm steady <laughs> telling you what my issues are, what my concerns are, and this is for security purposes. Y'all trying to overlook that? Y'all, yeah, not with it. Do you know what a hostile workplace Charles looks like? Funny. It can be verbal threats and intimidation, undeserved emotion. <laughs> and kept the mother money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. look, <laughs> again, these are things that out of fear. Every time, every when time I somebody, stop, I, I will return the money once I stop being scared. <laughs> I promise. I swear to God, I, I'm gonna return the money. Every I'm, time we have this guy on the platform, I have to reiterate to people so they understand because uh, you know coming out here to Buffalo, uh, there's a lot of rappers. You know what I mean? And I try to explain to them like, this ain't free, man. I'm very tactical. Uh, I'm, only reason I got caught in the barbershop could play it on my brother, but now I'm a, I'm a very tactical. Uh, I'm 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 very tactical. Uh, I, I I'm I'm not an impulsive guy, uh, and I'm not chasing money. I'm a man that's operating and moving out of a purpose that's facilitating a vision, uh, and, and there's nothing else. So uh, I just play the character well, but uh, and, and I play dumb. I, I don't show up playing smart like most people who are dumb just trying to play smart. I show up playing dumb. And I play the role of a fool to see who playing on me. So, uh, yeah, nah, they, so yeah, so yeah, they sent me the money, and, and, and I, I, I get, I told them I'll send the money back, but uh, I think they were trying to set me up, homie. Yeah, yeah, I really believe in my heart because uh, they if you look at were. Zeus Network, I, I watched Zeus Network allow uh, a, a very aggressive, violent, gay black male assault a black woman mm. and they only stepped in after the assault took place right. so when you look at when you look at this platform and, and you look at every episode every episode deals with violence black on black violence aggression violence so uh i felt like that was a play for them to try to put me in a situation yeah, uh, for sure. so yeah uh uh 
Yeah, I charge them for that. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, that's I charge them for that. that. That's that's how it is. And again. I, so, I feel like so, even so, though, right? so so now so 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 just think did about you not that. just earn your money though, uh, or, or, or may, like in a, you no, just no. pumped that show up. Oh, uh, well, this little this little back and forth that you well, just no, no, this, no, this no, show no, was pumped no, up. No. I'm just saying there are four man, there are oh, four no, promo no. run right now after that beef with man, you. Man, man, but that homie. Uh, she said somebody sent me a clip of her saying that there's a price on my head. Mm. She said that there's a price on my head. And y'all trying to book me here with knowing that there's a price on my head. In L.A., homie, where Smart. this is where most people die and get killed at. Every year, pop, pop, yes, pop Smoke, Tupac, uh, all on the West Coast, uh, Nipsey. Mm. So so you 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 guys are trying, in, 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 the, in, in the manner in which you guys are trying to book me here. Smart. Uh, where I'm completely dependent upon you guys. You got a driver to go come pick me up. You don't know what time the show starts at the studio, so it was too it was too much it was too too much vagueness. It was too vague for them to be such a big platform and not have s some structure. Mm. Uh, so too many red flags came to play. And you also got a lot of great interview offers. After we had an interview with that crazy guy, you actually did a Jason Lee interview. Uh, that that was before you guys. Okay. Uh, that, that, I had already done Jason Lee. Uh, before you guys, okay. uh, they just dropped after you guys. Uh, but you got well, yeah, little Yachty, yeah. right? Um, shout out to QC. Yeah, yeah. yeah, shout out to P from Quality Control. Uh, yeah, the Jason Lee interview. Yeah. Uh, there's other interviews that you have that are in the works. Yeah, yeah me and Say Cheese TV just did one. Just done a yeah. million. Done a million in less than 24 hours. I saw that. Yeah, I also saw in that interview. It, this is something like I, I wish I didn't have to participate some people piss me off you spoke in that interview specifically about you don't have to play the pause game i want you to break that down because i hate the damn pause game yeah yeah i think no homo pause uh i i think those are guys uh that's that's secretly battling with with, with their homosexual uh, uh homosexuality yeah. yeah 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 i think those are guys who aren't for sure by themselves because as a man I i'm agree. having a conversation with other men and i'm speaking and i'm trying to get a point across I'm not fit to say pause. Yeah, that's crazy. To let you know I'm not talking. That's on my mind. I'm not fit to do that as a man. Uh, why would you do that as a man? Who who thinks you're saying gay shit other than you? For you to say no homo. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, killed yeah. it right there. It's over now. Yeah, homie. So who would think? leave me alone with that shit? <laughs> Yeah, so now, nah, homie, so when I see a man doing that, I'm saying that's that's a gay man uh, by way of thoughts because they teach you in the AA and in a classes that preoccupation of thoughts is the first step in relapsing. You feel, yeah, before you <laughs> relapse as an addict, you first start having the thoughts. Uh, yeah, thoughts are powerful. Yeah, they dictate actions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your thoughts dictate no your actions. Pauses. Uh, your actions uh, develop your habits. Uh, your habits display your character. Uh, and your character decides your destiny. So people, so men that play, it's safe to say, men that play the pause game a lot are thinking about They bisexual. They're thinking about people. I ain't saying what they thinking about. Yeah. I'm saying they bisexual. Yeah. If you got to, ha if you talking to your buddy, you talking to your woman, and you got to say no homo, that mean you're bi. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that mean you're bi. So just, yeah, that mean you're bi. <laughs> and you ain't figured out a way to step out the closet. Your feet just big. They hanging out. I, I feel like there's so many topics that I could talk to Charleston about. One of these topics, right? Because I we 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 get we got to get into this and this and that and this. And we got uh, an amazing week that was presented to us for July 4th. My yeah, guys, shout out to Big Indian. Yeah, and my I ain't never seen nothing like this. Yeah, He's yeah, staying I, over here a couple more days. He's like, you know what? Nah, we got we got to. My we gotta, mama, we extend listen, the state. My mama and everybody gonna be mad at me. She said, son, you coming over to Googie House for for Fourth of July? I said, yeah, mama. Uh, but I got to go to Buffalo, New York. I'll be right back. And then I came to New York. And I ain't saying F mama. I'm just saying F going to Googie house. I'm hanging out here for the 4th of July. Yeah, yeah. And we're not. <laughs> and, and, and to set the record straight, we're not in New York. Is that right? We're not in New York. Yeah. We're in Eric's territory. <laughs> Sovereign Seneca, Sovereign Seneca territory. territory. Yeah. We're in the U.S. territory somewhere uh, with the federal government. 
I like that. You know that you know that we could hear that and nobody else can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. But but look, so And we can do what we want to do out here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what else is uh that that just I was I was gonna get into something else, but we're gonna get into that. I, I it's it's now become normal, right? All these platforms every day I wake up. I see you, and I'm thinking it's from your page, and it's from TMZ, Shade Room, On Site, No Jumper, Charleston is yeah. everywhere. And you are everywhere now for your statements, again, on Julio Fulio. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah talk talk uh, to us about Julio Fulio, what you said uh, is he got shot in the leg, he's trying to. I, I, took, I took a liking to him. Yeah, I, I took a liking to the kid. Uh, at first, I ain't like it. Uh, for one, I ain't like him because uh, he's the first motherfucker. Homie, I ain't never seen a motherfucker, homie. Uh, I ain't never seen a motherfucker my go make a rap song to the people they supposed to be involved in killing, and they lay on top of the grave site. Got the pictures of the, of the of, yeah, that's of, wild. Man, I ain't never seen that. So when I saw that. And 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 I'm I'm a, I'm a person who research b because most people fail to realize the only reason I'm on social media is because I went to community college. I went to Tarrant County Community College, and I had to take an elective. And, and one of the electives that I take that I took was BCIS. Oh, uh, that was a computer class. So this is in. Probably what, 2008, 2000, no, 2009, maybe 2010, 2009, 2010. So I take BCIS and I failed the class. I barely, I barely failed. And, and so uh, it put me on, 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 on financial aid probation. So that hurt my money. So I had to take that class again. Uh, I was selling weed at the time. So I would pay this little female uh, to do all my BCIS, BCIS uh, you know, my, my shit. And she told me about Facebook. So I remember being in class, uh, opening up a Facebook page. And I got out of the boys' home in, in 1998. So from 1998 to 2009, I knew nothing about social media. So I missed the MySpace era, so I missed all that shit. So when I finally get on Facebook, I'm going to go look for people that I went to school with that I hadn't ran back into from the 90s. So uh, that's when I got introduced to, to, to Facebook. And that was in 2009, 2010. Uh, I, w I started going viral 2019. 2018, almost 10 years later. So I when I come I to the that. internet, homie, uh, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. And, and I realized that most people that's on the internet don't know what they doing because you can make money from here. Once I realized that you can make money from being on social media, uh, it changed my whole reasoning for getting up logging onto social media. Mm. Uh, it, it became so I see everything as I see everything as content. So I see everything from a business perspective dealing with social media now. So I, I understand the algorithm. If I want to go viral right now, I can go viral because I know what to do. Yeah. Because I've all he did it different. Oh. Uh, most people don't, this is what I noticed, because I, I would never buy a phone with a phone case. So because of that, that caused me to have to spend a lot of money because these phones aren't equipped to fall, right? So I spent a lot of money buying new phones. And one of the things that I noticed from buying a bunch of phones is that each new phone, all of them had these particular apps, mm. whether that was Facebook or YouTube. 
So you would have to either download these apps or upload these apps, right? So I'm saying, man, why would every new phone have one of these apps? This is what I would be saying to myself. So over a two to five year period of time, me being in college, uh, I learned two terms. One of them is quantitative. The other is qualitative. Quantitative is knowledge of that's in a book. Data, numbers, statistics, uh, qualitative or experiences, right? So I'm saying, okay, each phone got an app. Uh, why? Somebody making some money. Once I realized that you can make money off these apps and I'm logging on. So it's two to five years before I realize that you can make money off these apps. But why am I logging on to this app and I'm getting nothing out of it? Mm. I'm addicted. Man, that's like crazy, bro. They, they try to set him up, Zeus Network, and Kid Kemp and all them. That's crazy, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section, man. We on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Back with another one, man.